As I told you, we start with the first step of the risk management process, which is risk identification. Let's have a look at the goal and the output of this process step and what tools we have. In the next session, I will go in further detail and describe the different tools that you can use. The goal and the output of risk identification is to identify all the risks that are related to the project and to understand what the risks are about. In what window can these risks occur and when not? What is the impact? How much damage or advantage can they bring on your project? And what is the probability of occurrence? Here we have our probability statistical aspect popping up in risk management. When we have the risks, it may be possible to identify the possible causes and we can already identify some ways to counter the threats or enhance the opportunities. The tools for risk identification, I will just name them here. We look at the next session to describe them in more detail. We can use meetings, interviews and risk lists. There is the Delphi method and the wideband Delphi method. We have the SWOT analysis, root cause analysis, brainstorming and the affinity list, flow charting and the fishbone diagram. Let's have a look at the next session and learn more about those tools for risk identification. See you there.